Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to do liquid. It'll be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on Blender. Exit. Get, get rid of the pop-up. Just clicking out there. I'm going to turn on my screencast real quick. Okay, now whatever I hit will show up right here. Uh, delete the cube using X. Hit the 1 key. Zoom out just a little bit with using your scroll pad. Hit Control alt 0 It'll give you your camera. Uh, hit 5. Hit Shift A and add a circle. Change the vertices on the left to 16 and the fill type to n-gon. Sometimes it may give you something that like this, it says align to view, but it'll say fill type or uh, fill circle. Just check that. It has to be filled or else this won't work. Um, hit 0 again and move it into the bottom right corner. Hit 5 again. Hit the tab button. It'll go into edit mode. Right now we're, we're making the cup. So if you hit the E and make it up, extrude it up, hit the S button, size it out, and depending on what version of Blender you have, if you, uh, over here, if you change that to the end gone thing, it's going to leave this uh, field on the top, and we don't want that. If you have an older Blender and it says a uh, fill circle, then it's going to be blank right there. Uh, if you have an older one, just leave it there. If you have the same version I do, extend it up and hit the X button, and then, then that makes it disappear. Go ahead and hit zero, or doesn't really matter, but you can hit zero. Uh, go to the wrench and hit add modifier, solidify, and make it thicker. Uh, I usually do about 0 0.06. Uh, to check it, you can hit the seven button, and then use two, four, six, and eight to navigate. Two goes down, eight goes up, six goes to the right, and four goes left. Uh, so, and also your middle mouse button just rotates. If you click on it, it'll kind of like drag you around in space. So I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker, about like that. Now if you go hit the tab, go into object mode, you can go on the left hand side and hit where it says shading, hit smooth, and it makes it look a lot more like a cup, a lot smoother, so you don't cut your lip pretty much. Um, hit shift A and ha uh, do the UV sphere. Now this is like your tap. Like on a water, you turn on the tap, and it's going to come out of this. Uh, you normally can't have in a ball a never-ending cycle of water coming out, but this isn't real life. So <laughs> go over to the bouncy ball and hit fluid. And where it says none, make it so it has inflow. Change this to about one. And you can move it. I'm going to move it just a little bit closer so I know it's going to make it in there, or at least close. Uh, move your camera so you center it. You can select it with your right right click, G, we'll move it, we'll grab it, and then, yeah. So now that you're centered up, click in the middle of them, hit shift A, add a cube, and make it big. Hit the 5 button, and then over here where it says object mode, right to the right of it, has a little white circle. Uh, click on that and go, it says texture solid, wireframe, and bounding box, hit wireframe. Okay, now this will show you where your box is really at. You want those to be right in the inside, and I'm going to you don't want it to be any bigger than it has to be because it'll take longer to render it. And yeah. So right there it looks pretty nice, but you have a third dimension. Okay, so hit the 7 button, hit S and Y, and you'll make it thinner. Uh, the reason why I hit Y is because Y is this axis, X is this axis, and if you just go down, uh, Z is then this axis. Okay, if you hit 0. Let's turn this into the domain. The domain is, it has to happen, everything hap that's liquid has to happen inside the domain. So, whoops, I clicked flu smoke. Hit fluid, uh, then you need to go to domain. And this is probably the most important part of it. Uh, go to where it says domain particles and change it to about 0.2, that's what I usually do. It. Uh, these are little things you can just tweak on it. But the subdivisions is kind of sometimes important, but because uh, I'm doing a tutorial and I don't want to spend a lot of time rendering it. The higher this is, the longer it renders. But the higher it is, it also gets better quality. So, I mean, you just kind of, depending on how much time you want, you want this as high as you can go. Um, same thing with these, uh, with anything really, but yeah. Um, I'm going to change this to about 40, make it go a little bit faster, and this is about 50. Uh, because it's about 25 frames a second, uh, your 
you're taking this and you're going to times four by or if you say five you can take whatever number you put in right here and you're going to times it by 25 and that's what you want to put right here so I'm just going to take four and times it by 25 and I get a hundred it's really 24 but 25 is a lot easier to figure and it's a lot faster so and it, it doesn't make that big of a difference so now that we have that let's make sure we got everything set we need to now change this to another fluid and it needs to be an obstacle and change this from volume to shell and sometimes if shell doesn't work hit both but yeah now I'm going to let it render and then I'll be right back sorry I forgot to tell you how to render it uh, click right here on or if you have a box sometimes it'll give you a box like like this click on the box or the thing that's coming out from your liquid that's already there if you've already played with liquid before um, click on that and hit bake and just give it a minute it'll kinda of do one frame at a time you can sit there and you can watch it and hit the right arrow as it goes looks like I've missed my cup a little bit so I'm actually going to uh, skip and not let it finish I'm going to hit the G and I'm going to move it over just a little bit so that I can make it in the cup okay let's let's try that so go back to this and hit bake give it just a minute oh perfect another thing is the liquid it won't go on the outside of the domain so I probably did this a little bit wrong I probably should have put the domain come out a little bit so it didn't look like there was just like an invisible force field or something blocking the water which I it, for tutorial reasons it doesn't really matter but uh, if I were to make it come out there it would look a little bit more realistic uh, yeah you could do that with a fish tank you can make your domain the fish tank or the or a bathtub or or you can model it into a control like or the obstacle like I look what we've done here so it looks like my fluid simulation is pretty much done um, your thing is gonna keep coming if you do that uh, if you just hit fluid it'll just uh, it will just take this that amount and it'll turn it into a liquid so it's not gonna keep shooting it out it's just gonna that's all the water you're gonna get is what the water that can fit in this is what you're gonna get out of it so I'm just, I, I leave it on inflow outflow it's like your drain or uh, like on a tub or a sink or a toilet or something that's what outflow is and so yeah so I'm gonna hurry we gotta kinda hurry we got uh, go to materials and hit new you're gonna make it look more like water and so hit this transparency so you clicked on the circle that had the two black triangles and the two orange triangles come down here to the transparency turn your alpha uh, you can you can see water so it's maybe like right there and hit F12 uh, okay there's a little bit of a mirror so reflectivity there's a little bit of reflection in it and there's a little bit of gloss it's really hard you can hit this ray trace and it'll even give you you want this IOR to 1.33 and it'll give you a little, it'll give you more there we go that's more liquid and your cup uh, if you select your cup we want to turn it to a glass so that one's really easy you just hit the transparency and turn your alpha to maybe like that something like that you can play with it and make it look a little bit better your mirror turns on a little bit uh, there's a couple other settings down here but I'm just gonna hurry and render this see what it looks like looks pretty good you can add color to it um, let's add we can turn this to like a blue if you like blue cups okay and then turn the water you can make it look really weird like maybe even blood I don't know or I'll just make it red just to show you what it looks like that didn't quite work out the way I thought it was going to probably want to change probably a lot of this to red to make it look there you go a little bit more but you get the gist of it uh, thank you for watching this I hope I hope it's taught you a little bit about it hope I'm actually doing this for good uh, thank you until next time